Okay, we are going to talk about the mortgage project. And the first thing we're going to talk about is how to know whether or not you qualify for a loan. So this is actually question number one on the mortgage project. And um, the point of this question is that the bank isn't going to just let you buy any home. Um, you have to be able to afford that home. So you can't just go out and pick a million dollar home and then the bank will give you a loan for that. Um, the bank is going to take into account how much money you make and what other uh, assets maybe you have, whatever debts that you owe, and any other monthly payments that you might be paying. And it's going to take all that information. Usually they give you a worksheet that you fill out and you fill in all that information and then it's going to put it through its computer program or whatever they use to decide uh, how much you can afford and they determine that by by actually uh, figuring out what your maximum monthly payment is so when you get your mortgage your max your total monthly payment has to be less than the maximum monthly payment um, that you can afford and so by your total monthly payment I don't mean just the monthly payment that you get from the mortgage table um, that's that part of the payment that goes to the bank to pay off the loan but your monthly payment will also include property tax and homeowners insurance and they put all those together into a single monthly payment and that has to be less than your maximum monthly payment okay that they figure you can afford so here's how we're going to do this so let's do an example here I make uh, let's say this isn't my true salary but let's say I make forty two thousand five hundred dollars and I also have a couple uh, loans here I have a, a car payment I make each month let's say that's three hundred and fifty dollars let's say I also took out a personal loan from the bank and that payment at each month is an eighty five dollar monthly payment and so um, just to keep things simple, we'll just say this is my only income and these are my only debts. And now the bank is going to determine what my maximum monthly payment is. And here's the steps that you'll use on the mortgage project to do that. Um, first, you're going to find your um, monthly income. and all this is is taking whatever income you get in this case my salary and dividing it by 12 and that's going to give me my monthly income let me get my calculator here so 42,500 divided by 12 looks like it's 3,000 five hundred forty one dollars and sixty seven cents rounded to the nearest cent so this is my monthly income okay now what I'm gonna do is I need to adjust that by subtracting the the monthly payments that I have my my debts here so we'll call this the adjusted monthly income And so I'm going to take my monthly income and subtract these debts that I owe. And that'll be my adjusted monthly income. Okay. So oops, subtract the two payments. And I get um three thousand one hundred and five dollars and sixty seven cents okay so that's my adjusted monthly income now what the mortgage project says and this is also what your textbook says is that your maximum monthly payment will be twenty eight percent of the adjusted monthly income um, now this isn't like uh, the universal rule that all banks use. Like 28% isn't necessarily the, the number that a bank is going to use to determine your um, maximum monthly payment. Each bank probably has its own 
way of doing that. It probably involves putting all the stuff on that worksheet you fill out into uh, probably some computer program, and then it uses some of its own algorithm to figure out what your adjusted or what your maximum monthly payment is. Um, so I think what the book did is at some point it took a sampling of all the different banks and it averaged it out and it came to be about 28%. And so they use that percentage. Um, usually what they say is it's, it's about 30%. It's around there, or maybe sometimes they say it's about a third of your adjusted monthly income, a little less than a third, okay? But we are going to use that 28%. So my maximum monthly payment is going to be 28% of this adjusted monthly income. And let's see what it is. And my maximum monthly payment is actually eight hundred and sixty nine dollars and fifty nine cents. So what this means is when I choose a house that I want to buy and I figure out what the monthly payment is and then I add property tax and insurance to that um, that total has to be less than this maximum monthly payment or else I, I will not qualify for the loan okay so this is kind of my limit here um, when I choose a house to buy so your number will be different you'll have a different salary different debts you'll use the same process you'll also use 28 percent and then you'll get your maximum monthly payment and then that will be the number that you use to determine in uh, I think it's question uh, six it's the last problem on the first page of the mortgage project where it asks you do you can you um, do you qualify for the loan for the house that you pick out this is the number that you're going to compare your total monthly payment to in order to determine that.